Hi there, we're Alan and Kaz. Last week we left the UK and headed on a mammoth road trip across Europe, travelling on the famous Bavarian Alpine Highway. We took in fairy tale castles that inspired Walt Disney, and we pushed Jules hard across epic mountain passes, and even a park up with a crazy rave going on. We visited all the iconic stops along this amazing highway. And as we crossed the Austrian-Slovenian border, we came across abandoned Panzer tanks. But this week, we're going big as we tackle our biggest challenge to date in Slovenia. Let's go. Cool little park up this morning on Trevisio. Just like a car park at the top of the town. It's, it's really hard to park in Slovenia, so we decided just to come slightly across the border into Italy. It's only like 25 minutes away, but you can just park anywhere in Italy. So it's, this is proper nice, proper nice little one. And this old building in front of us, proper nice. And the church bells, seven o'clock this morning, day ring, <laughs> and then the village up there. I love little park ups like this, brilliant. <laughs> I just went over to walk around. <laughs> it's quite nice here. It was dark when we got here, wasn't it? But yeah, it was very dark. Are you ready for it then? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and I'm thinking, I don't want, I don't know, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> In fact, I'm very, very scared. I can see the mountains here from here. Can we just sit here all day? <laughs> no, we're not. Let's go. <laughs> Slovenia, baby. <laughs> So if you're coming up the Mangart Pass as well, it's actually a toll road. So I think it's about 10 euros to get up here, but it's probably worth it for the highest pass in Slovenia. Have you got 10 euros, guys? The woman on the barrier, because you have to pay to get up here, has just said, how tall is your van? Over two metres, and we were like, yeah, it's two metres six. She goes, ah, the tunnels are very tight, be very careful. So that's just made me feel even worse. Now I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack because my chest is pounding, not only because I'm scared, I don't even know I'm going to get up there. Anyway, here goes. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that they How are you feeling, Kaz? I need a poo. Oh, a nervous poo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, we're off to the Mangart Pass. We went to the top to try and get some parking. No chance. It's pretty busy. We should have come earlier, which is unlike us because we normally come really early, but we didn't. So, left Jules there. See you later, Jules. Let's go. Tricky dark in here. We are on our first hike on Mangart in Slovenia. Very pretty. On our way for our first view of Retta. Not that you want to know this, but I've been to the toilet three times this morning. I'm that nervous and I'm that scared. Alan says it's not natural. I told him I think it's nervous poos. It's only a little view of Retta. It'll, uh, it'll warm up for us. For tomorrow. For tomorrow, yeah. We are going... Up there? Up there. Oh my days. 
That There's nobody else up there. Is Mangart. And I think we're going to the Via Fretta around it. And here is Italy. Wow. There is Italy. I just noticed that I was breathing a bit heavier, my heart rate was going up a bit and it's because we just passed that 2000 marker where everything gets a bit harder we're at 2040 now so I think this goes up to 2600 something so quite a way to go but definitely notice it not, not a lot, it's not really really hard but you definitely notice your breath gets a bit more laboured as usual Way markers. <laughs> Holy oh, come on. Reckon to that. That's quite intense. <laughs> You got all the gear on, Kath? I have all the gear. I have no idea. <laughs> no no idea. idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm uh, going to get up there somehow. Yeah. With this. Yeah. We'll go as you go along. Am I putting my helmet on now? Yeah, put your helmet on. What do you feel like, Kath? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see my eyes. Well, put it like this. These guys, these Slovenian guys here, they just went, these guys here, they're just going up the Slovenian route as well. And they ain't got any gear on at all. Yeah, but they did say if it gets too hard, they're coming back down. Yeah, we're not coming back down though. So this is the Slovenian route, Kat. And this, oh, that's the normal route. Quite tame. It is, yeah. That's the one you would normally come down. But this, we're going, we're going up. Are we going that way? Yeah, we're going up there. How you feeling, Kat? Um, one to ten. Oh God. Zero being absolutely Zero being myself. you're walking along a, a little road in the meadows. <laughs> I'm, I'm hardly walking, I'm a little road in the meadows. I'm, I'm probably about two. Two? Oh, that's alright, let's go. Let's crack no, up. No, 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 I'm only jogging. I'm absolutely scared to just two. Oh, no, that'd be nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you got concentration. Okay, but don't hang on that one. You're not. Don't hang on the Ferretas. Yeah, you're hanging on the green one. You're doing well. Slow down. Slow down. There's no rush. Slow down. Okay, that's it. No rush. <laughs> Look at this next bit. <laughs> wow. Why do you reckon time? Let's go via for it, he said. Let's go climb around him, he said. You got it, you're doing well. That's it. Uh. Cracking. Uh. Alright? Yeah. Hanging off the edge of the mountain. <laughs> that is pretty high. Oh. 2,600, 700 meters. And it's not a drop of wind. Wow, it's crazy, isn't it? Okay. Oh, just be quiet. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I'm concentrating. Do well. That's it. So they yank yourself up. That's it. That's it. Now get. That's, oh my god. No, what no. Now just pull yourself up. That's it. Now use your arms, mate. That's it. Well done. Well done. They've got to get up there. <laughs> nice. It's mental. We're way higher than the actual car. The car's right down that refugio. Fan, sorry. Jules. It's mental, isn't it? Look at them Alps. Look at the Alps. 
I don't know if we've been higher than this before, have we? No, it's been amazing. Well, yeah. 2007, I think maybe pick over letter, maybe. Col de Benet. Mm. Look at our views, eh? Mental. How do you like that bit? How do you like that free climbing bit? It's a really flat as such. Makes you feel a lot safer. It's when you don't have a rear flutter and you've just got a free climb and you're right on the edge of the cliff. That's scary. I don't like that. I panic a little bit of that. It's like being on the moon, isn't it? This must be one of the highest climbs I've ever done. Yeah. From the bottom. Some of the guys have been climbing up in front of us. Oh, it's got Derek out. But look, you cannot see anything but mountain tops. How incredible. How awesome. Gosh. I mean, that's just. Uh, um, it's beyond words. I think trig love is one of these. I'm guessing it's that one. Okay. Yeah, it's the highest one. It's the highest one. Oh my god, that's the one tomorrow. That's the one tomorrow. So that's your first Via Ferretta. How did you reckon it? I quite enjoyed the Via Ferretta more than I thought. I didn't like the free climbing. The free <laughs> climbing scale. You like the bit where there's cables? I like the Via Ferretta. Yeah, I like doing the Via Ferretta. I don't like the free climbing. The free climbing is, is a bit dicey in places. Even when you can get. When you can get a f when you can't get a foothold with a Via Ferrette, you feel like you still got something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you can't get a foothold in your free climbing, that's that's some scary shit. There. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand four hundred and forty-three meters high. Boom, Mangart. Smashed. Done it. Completed it. Well, we've got to get down. Yeah. Yeah, this that'd be easy. So once you get up here, we came up via the Slovenian route because that's like the easiest Via Ferretta. There's only two options, I think, of Via Ferretta, um, the Italian and the Slovenian. I think, there's, number one, the Italian, you'd have to be the other side, but I think the Slovenian is easier as well. And then you can- I would say you, it's easier. Easier, then it's definitely easier than the Italian, they say. So then once you've done that, you can go down the opposite Ferretta, or you can go down the normal route. And we're gonna go down the normal route because we want something a bit easier going down. <laughs> And uh, I'm ready for some tea. <laughs> dusty, isn't it? Yeah. It's dusty underfoot, isn't it? Oh, snow. Where? Down there. Where in that cave? Yeah, look. Come here, look. Oh, my days. Snow. <laughs> So we switched the video off just there because Kaz has, has had a little moan about how far it is. And it isn't actually that far today. It's just that we're using different muscles today. So it's tough. And we didn't have any lunch, which was a schoolboy era. So Kaz is just having a little bit of moan. But she's tired. And I'm tired as well. And it has been tough today. So all good. But, I've just been up that creep 
Yeah. No? It's pretty impressive. Nearly back to the van, Kaz. Hey? Okay, I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Jules! <laughs> <laughs> Are you glad to see home? <laughs> Good kiss, you're very well.